Yummy. No yummy. No yummy. Okay, yummy, yummy. up to there, and then after that, not yummy. <laughs> so awesome. Hey guys, I'm in uh, my town here, and uh, whenever I ride by on my bike with Maple, um, this building here, you can see behind me with all the chipping paint and stuff, um, I assumed it was like a restaurant or that was like closed down, it's like ruins or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna show you more what it looks like. Um, but it's actually open and uh, Mayu researched it and apparently it's one of the best yakiniku restaurants in this town. So we're gonna go try it out and see what it looks like inside and what the food tastes like. So let me walk around this building to show you what a wreck it looks like from the outside. So as you can see it's uh, chipping and stuff on the top. This is the back of the building. Um, there's like a, a, a boat, I guess an abandoned boat with like weird plants and stuff inside. So yeah, it's just parked here. I don't know why. And then it's just like a random place. This is the side of the building. Also not much better. Um, then there's this like pole thing because it also looks very like weird. Um, and then there's like a random tree here. And uh, yeah. Uh, I guess the flags are out in the evening, so that means the restaurant is actually open and running. But usually I see it when I'm walking Maple, so you can't really see. But there's no sign really here. There's no sign here really. Um, but then if you look up there, that's the name of the sign. And I think it's called Juju N. So let's go check it out. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully the inside is clean and nice. It looks pretty good actually. Okay. Oh, cool. The wall is nice. Okay, so the inside looks really nice. Drink bar set here, I guess. With all you can drink, slushies, drinks, like cold drinks, and hot drinks as well. That's pretty cool. And as you can see, I just opened at five, so there's no one here yet, but the inside looks really nice actually. Okay, that's cool. It's like a step up, take off your shoes, please. Ooh, and it's nice and hot. My friend Ryan wanted me to get Mayu to drink Asahi Super Cold or whatever but unfortunately this place only has premium malts so you're gonna have to do with that. Got uh, all free which is non-alcoholic beer because I'm on a diet and because of diabetes and other reasons it's better if I don't drink beer. So Ryan this is for you. All free beer for me and premium malts for Mayu. Cheers! Yes. Cheers! Nice. We got gyu tongue, which is cow tongue, and we got some other stuff. I'm not sure what that is, but it's meat. And now begins the barbecue. Yay! And this is the family set with all that meat plus uh, this Korean spoon you see it? it's in the Korean spoon for this special Korean soup that Mayu ordered and of course rice 
Um, I think this is pretty much everything. I think there's nothing else coming. I think we got everything we ordered. Yeah, like Yudong. I don't know. Maybe net. I think it's ready. Lemon juice. Mm, no. Good? <laughs> I can never tell with her reaction if she's either liking it or hating it. Good? Okay. She gave the K-pop heart approval, so I guess she likes it. Actually, Mayu quit beef for an entire year, so we hadn't gone to Yakiniku for the whole of 2021. So this is her first Yakiniku of 2022. So finally we got to eat Yakiniku. Yay! And we'll be eating a lot of it here. Um, this soup, I wouldn't say it's spicy, but there is like a Korean spice to it. It kind of, at the aftertaste, is a little bit spicy. And we had ordered one more thing. I forgot. This is a chorgi sarad. I think this is also Korean, maybe. I don't know. So sauce or whatever. Roll it up. A meat and lettuce sandwich. Nice. Okay. Good, good. It's not the beer for sure. She has hardly had any. We're almost done. All right, we are pretty much finished. Everything is done. That was a really good meal. It was filling. It was just enough. Mayu's trying to finish up her last portions. Todata? Yeah. Yummy? Yummy butt. Yummy butt. Stomach cake. Ah, you have a stomach cake. I know. Uh, but yummy. Uh, mm. Yummy. Yummy. No yummy. No yummy. Okay, yummy, yummy up to there. And then after that, not yummy. Okay, okay. okay that's too bad. Uh, today's Thursday night, so it's uh, not a very busy night for eating out. So, uh, as you can see, there's still, I think it's like one, one in pair or one couple in the restaurant, and it's just us. So, it's really nice. Um, I guess you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, because on the outside it does look like shit, but inside it was actually really nice. The food was good, the decor is pretty sweet, and it's a comfortable, nice area. So, I definitely recommend this restaurant. Um, I think it's called Juju N. Maybe? Juju M? Yeah, Juju M. So if you are... Since, since 1994. <laughs> since 1994. So if you're in Chiba Prefecture and you want to check out an interesting uh, yakiniki restaurant that doesn't look good but tastes good, head to Juju M. So it came to 6,000 yen, which is about $60, so $30 each. That includes like everything, the tax and there's no tip and everything. So $30 each for all that food is not bad, I would say, especially uh, for the, all that good meat and the decor and the privacy of the restaurant was good. So definitely worth it, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. More coming soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave any comments you want. See you next time. Peace. Peace. Okay. All right.